We are here today to consider case 2009, CR234, the state versus Rodney D. Hampton. Ms. Um, Hampton. Yes, I would just like to apologize to the families um, about this incident here. And, um, I'm truly very sorry that any of this happened. You know, I felt that, you know, through this, you know, it's made me think a lot better and, um, you know, cleared my mind of, you know, living on the wrong side of the tracks. And I feel with the opportunity, you know, with some rehabilitation that I could be a productive citizen in the community once again. And, uh, I mean, I, you know, I got a family, I love my family. I made a mistake and, you know, I hope from, you know, what happens here today that, you know, um, you know, everybody can, you know, put this behind us and move forward. And once again, I apologize to the family and hope I have the opportunity to be with mine soon. Thank you. So the court is, has chosen to impose the following of prison terms in each of these matters. The defendant would be accorded uh, credit for time served. I don't know what that amounts to, but I am certain that Mr. Miller and Mr. Taylor can confer to make sure that that appropriate time is provided for the, the defendant. Uh, the court has to count to the felony of the third degree, finds that a prison term of four years is appropriate and directs that the defendant serve a term of four years, less credit for time served at the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction. As to count one, the court finds an appropriate prison term, in my view, given all the facts and circumstances presented, would be a term of eight years. And I so impose as to count one, a term of eight years for the defendant to serve at the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction. The appropriate consideration for the court, in my view, is whether or not these offenses should be served concurrently or consecutively. If I choose to impose them consecutively, the parties understand the defendant is not eligible for judicial release. If the court elects to impose them concurrently, he does then have eligibility. Given his cooperation in the matters so mentioned, the court finds that that warrants consideration and I will direct that these sentences be served concurrently, one with the other, for an aggregate sentence of eight years, thereby making the defendant potentially uh, available and he may petition at the appropriate time for judicial release. However, the court finds that the sentence is appropriate uh, under the circumstances and understands when his eligibility might occur and suggests and so finds that that's, if that time is necessary and sufficient to punish him if the court will consider a release at a later time. I am granting no promises, giving no assurances. I will wait and see if, in fact, Mr. Uh, Hampton performs well in prison follows the rules, attends counseling, does all those things that are important and necessary for rehabilitation. I'll also review any cooperation he might provide in these matters at a later time and determine whether or not his release should be granted. 